we've called it the flying suit, uh, which is, yeah, it's pretty cool, because I mean, the faster we go, the more air we're gonna have. I'm Scotty James, I'm from Melbourne, I'm a snowboarder and I've been given the opportunity from Oakley to work with some designers to see uh, really what I can create. Um, my name's Billy Whitehouse, um, I'm the designer and director at Wearable Experiments. Wearable Experiments build the hardware, software and apparel for design products, uh, so we infuse clothing with technology. Scotty basically gave us a direction or trajectory and he had a single-minded focus on what he needs to achieve the best performance in his sport. For this particular process, we're working with some turbines and electronics, and we've decided that we can make snowboarders have an extended period of flight. We're essentially going to make them fly. One of the big things behind this project was airtime. We're always looking for where we can generate more speed and more flight. So for us, the design is two turbines built into the back just above the shoulder blades of the jacket. So while he's up there, he'll be able to have an increased speed and increased flight time. Going higher and staying higher for longer, uh, it gives you time to think. On a training day, for example, you know, going out and I'm trying the flying seat, you know, it might help boost your confidence a little bit more to try it. You know, you got a little bit more uh, air time to do something. So yeah, I think that's one of the really cool things behind this project. This thing has accelerometers, gyros, compasses, it has camera systems, so it has an awareness of the world which augments your awareness. What we want to be able to do is allow the fans to reverse spin uh, so that when he's landing we can cushion that. If you're in a half pipe it could always bring you so you're horizontal so you're going to land at the, on the wall of the half pipe. You could also flip the application on its head and it could be to increase the rotation so you do a jump and you want to make extra spins you can turn on one motor. If it worked, it's going to work great because I'm, I need more air time all the time. This product could allow athletes to do the tricks they've always dreamed of. Where wearable tech's going and where this product is starting to look at is enhancing or augmenting what we are as humans. It's changing so quickly and um, being able to work on something like the flying suit, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the future. I'm excited to see what happens.